Hello and welcome to the UiPath Platform Introduction Lecture of the UiPath Bootcamp Series. In our last video, we had seen how to install UiPath Studio on the Windows operating system. If you have not yet done that, I would recommend you to click on the link above and follow the step-by-step -step guide. For the others, let's have a look at the agenda of this lecture. If you remember during the installation of the UiPath Studio, we came across three components of the UiPath platform, namely the studio, the robot, and the orchestrator. In this video, we will have a closer look into each of these three components. We will also try to understand the importance and the role they play in the automation life cycle. We will also see how each of these components are linked to each other. And in order to do that, we will try connecting the robot with the orchestrator. Thereafter, we will build a small workflow in the UiPath Studio. And this developed workflow in the UiPath Studio would then be deployed to the orchestrator. Well, that's all for the agenda, and now let's get started. The UiPath platform offers you the components not only to design and develop the automation projects, but to also execute and manage them. These components are divided on the basis of some functionalities. Let's have a look at these functionalities. The first is building a workflow. The design and development of automation workflows is done using UiPath Studio. All the developed workflows can then be executed using a UiPath robot. While coming to UiPath Orchestrator, it is a web-based dashboard to manage, control, and monitor different robots and the processes being deployed. Having said that, let's dive deeper into each of these components. First, coming to the UiPath Studio, the UiPath Studio application is a graphical user interface to design and develop automation workflows. It also comes with predefined activities which can be simply dragged and dropped into the design panel. Also, there is a built-in recorder to record your mouse clicks and movements. It also provides ready-to-use templates and frameworks for building robust automations. Let's run UiPath Studio and look at each of these functionalities directly. Well, in order to run UiPath Studio, all you need to do is go to the search bar, search for Studio, and hit on Open. This will bring you to the UiPath landing page. which looks something like this. Once here, you have two options. Either you can open a pre-existing project or you can start a new project from scratch. In case of opening a pre-existing project, you also have the possibility to clone repositories from Git, TFS or SVN. If you want to see how to clone a repository from Git, just click on the link above. In case you want to start a new project, then you have two options. Either you can start from scratch or you can use a pre-existing template from UiPath. From the templates given here, one of the most important template is Robotic Enterprise Framework, also known as the RE Framework. We will have a closer look into the RE Framework in the future videos. For now, let's just go ahead and create a new project from scratch. Just click on Process, give your project a name, I'll leave the description as it is and hit on Create. This will bring you to the design panel of UiPath Studio, which looks something like this. Now that we are there in the UiPath Studio's design interface, let's have a look at different elements. The first is the project panel. Here you have an overview of all the files that exist in the project. Then we have the activities panel. Here you have all the predefined activities, which you can simply drag and drop into the design panel to design your workflows. Then we have the snippets panel. This enables you to reuse different automations that you make in your workflow. Also in the end here, we have the output panel. So once you're running your workflow, all the outputs are being generated here. It also captures errors and user logs. 
In the center, we have a design panel, which is not visible right now. You can bring your design panel by clicking on open main workflow. Now, if you want to make a new workflow, all you need to do is drag and drop activities from the activity panel. So let's make our first workflow. We'll just display a message box saying hello world. So just search for message box in the activity search box. Drag and drop in the center and then we have a message box here. All you need to do is just write a message. Let's call it hello world. Once that's done, let's try and run it. Just go on the debug file and click on run. There would be a hello world message box displayed. So here it is. So our automation works. Well, this is the simplest workflow that you could design in the UiPath Studio. And at this point, I would recommend you to pause this video and take five minutes to open and explore UiPath Studio on your own. Just go ahead and check different activities and the different panels that I've just shown you. And if you have any questions, just post it in the comments below. Well, I hope you're done exploring the UiPath Studio and are ready to move forward. For now, we will just go and publish the workflow that we just created. In order to do that, hit on Publish and click on Next. If you see here in the Publish options, it, it has been set to Robot Defaults. This would publish your package into the default package folder of UiPath on your local system. So just click on Publish and this is your local package folder. And if you click on it, you would see that UiPath Bootcamp with version 6 is being published here. If you have a closer look at the type of the file, it's a Nougat package file. The Nougat package file is used by the UiPath robot to execute UiPath Studio workflows. So after this, we'll be exploring in detail the UiPath robot and how to run these Nougat files directly with the UiPath robot. Let's move forward and now have a look at the UiPath robot. The UiPath robot is an application that executes the workflows developed in the UiPath Studio. As we had seen previously that we had published the UiPath Studio workflow into a Nougat package file, this package file is used by the UiPath robot to execute that workflow. They can be both triggered locally or from the orchestrator. There are basically two kinds of robots, the attended and the unattended. The attended robot is triggered by some user event like some mouse click or some hotkey from the keyboard and operates as an assistance to a human being. The attended robots could be used in automation where human validation is necessary. On the other hand, the unattended robot runs remotely without any human intervention. It could be used to automate back office activities like downloading data or generating reports. Having said that, let's have a closer look into the UiPath robot. The UiPath robot came with the name as UiPath robot in the previous versions. But with the new version, the UiPath robot, the name has been replaced with UiPath Assistant. So just go into the search bar and search for Assistant and you'll come up with UiPath Assistant. Just double click and you will see this is the UiPath robot application window. If you remember, we had uploaded a package named UiPath Bootcamp to a package folder. The UiPath robot application is directly connected with this package folder. Any package that has been uploaded in this folder can be directly seen here as one of the processes. So let's go here and download this package. Once this package is installed, you can just click on the play button to run this workflow. All you would see is again the message box, hello world. The other possibility is to also send a reminder or to schedule these automations. So here, just select the process that you want to run. Let's say you have path bootcamp and I want to run it once and we want to run it at, let's say, 17.06. Save. So this should run in just one minute. 
As you can see, there's an alarm. All you need to do is click on the run button. And here again, we have our hello world message box. If you want to run this robot remotely from an orchestrator, you would have to publish this package also in the orchestrator. In order to publish the package to the orchestrator, we need to connect UiPath Studio with the orchestrator. We would see how to connect the UiPath Studio with the orchestrator in a few minutes. Well, that's all for the UiPath robot. Let's have a closer look into the orchestrator. Well, last but for sure not the least is the orchestrator. The orchestrator lets you control, manage and monitor your entire landscape of deployed automations. Here, you can upload libraries and reusable components for the others to use. Also, it helps you connect machines with robots and group them into different environments. All the developed processes can also be deployed to the orchestrator and then be assigned to a robot for execution. Every task that is being executed using the orchestrator can be logged and tracked for monitoring purposes. Let's have a closer look into the orchestrator itself. Well, in order to log into the orchestrator, we need to first go into a community cloud dashboard. Just go to platform.uipath.com and this should bring us to a dashboard. If you remember last time, we had created a UiPath Bootcamp Orchestrator service and if you click on this, this will bring us to the UiPath Orchestrator. On the left hand side, we have the panel in order to manage and monitor our automations and robots. Let me just minimize these tabs to have a better overview. As you can see, there are no robots that are being connected through the UiPath Orchestrator and neither there are any processes that have been published here. So let's just first go and connect the robot with the orchestrator. For that, you need to click on management, go to robots and click on the add button and then select a standard robot. You need to fill in some details. The machine name you can get from the local installation of your UiPath Assistant. So go to UiPath Assistant and under settings, select orchestrator settings. There you would find the machine name. Just copy it and paste it under machines. Since it's a new machine that is being added to the orchestrator, you would get this plus sign. And this would add automatically this machine to the orchestrator under the machines panel. Under the names, just feel free to give a name of your own. I will name it as UiPath Bootcamp Robot. Description is up to you. And under type, I'm going to keep it as studio. For the domain name and username, if you don't know what it is, all you need to do is go to command prompt and use the command, who am I? This would return you the domain and the username for your logged in ID. Just give it here and click on create. So this has created a robot account on the orchestrator. As you can see, the status is still disconnected. For that, we need to connect the local installation of the UiPath Assistant with the orchestrator. So let's just go into the Assistant and given these details. First, we need the orchestrator URL. You would get this directly from the browser. Just copy it till the name of your orchestrator copy it and paste it here. Next, we would need the machine key. If you remember, we had just provisioned the new machine. So if you go into machines panel, you would be able to see that there's a new machine that has been created. Just copy the key from the clipboard and paste it here and then click on connect. The status would change from offline to connected and licensed. Also, if you go back to the orchestrator, under the robots panel, you would see that the status has changed from disconnected to available. As a next step, 
we would deploy the process that we developed in UiPath Studio to the orchestrator. For that, just go into the UiPath Studio and click on Publish button. And now if you go to Publish Options, you would also see Orchestrator as one of the options. So just hit on Publish, and this would publish your package to the orchestrator. And just mind it, the version is 1.0.10. Just click on OK. And let's go and check if the same has been published in the orchestrator. So go under Packages, you should be able to see your new published package. And here, if you can see, it's, it's been published a few seconds ago. Now we need to attach this package to a process. And in order to do that, we need to first create an environment. To create an environment, just go to Robots and under Environments, just click on this Add button. Just give it a name that you want to. I would call it UiPath Bootcamp Environment. Hit on Create and then assign the robot that you have created to this environment. You could also create another robot and assign it to this environment. For now, now let's just go and assign the package that we had published to one of the processes. For that, you need to go into Automations, click on Process, and then again click on this Add button. And then just select the process from the package list that you see here. Since till now we have only one package, that's why you just see UiPath Bootcamp. And once that's selected, the environment is selected on its own. That's because we have only one environment for now. Select the job priority as you wish. I'll keep it as normal and then just click on Create. So right now we just created a process in the orchestrator. Now this would give us a possibility to run this process remotely from the orchestrator on any of the unattended robot. Since we have till now not created any unattended robot, this is not possible now. And if you want to run this process remotely onto an unattended robot, all you need to do is go under robots and create a new robot similar to that. And instead of selecting the type to studio, you need to select the type to unattended. Well, just for demonstration purpose, let's just convert a studio robot into an unattended robot. All you need to do is click on edit and change from type studio to unattended. You would also have to give in the password of your Windows login ID. Once that's done, hit on update. And if you see the type has changed from studio to unattended. Now under automations panel, go to processes and click on start a job. This would bring us to this panel wherein you have to select the robot which you want to use to run the process. Since we have only one robot, that's why we have just been displayed one robot here. And just click on start. Once you do that, you would again see the message box displaying hello world. What we just did is ran a process using the orchestrator. You could run any similar process using the orchestrator. Well, that's all for this lecture. But before we end this video, let's recap a bit. All we did in this video was had a look at different components of the UiPath suite. And then thereafter created a workflow in the UiPath Studio and saw how this workflow could be executed using the UiPath robot. Thereafter, we went into the UiPath orchestrator and connected the local installation of robot with this orchestrator. We also published the process that we developed in the UiPath Studio to the orchestrator. For now, if you have any questions, just feel free to post it in the comments. And do go ahead and try these steps on your own using the UiPath Studio. In the next lecture, we will design much complex automations and explore various predefined activities using the UiPath Studio. Till then, have a good day and see you again. Bye-bye.